See, this is where it starts getting interesting. Um, I think at a certain point, if you are tar- Todd Bowley and that ownership group is what I was going to say, or the club or the backroom staff, that's that's the problem is that like in the real in reality they're not going to have any sort of accountability and or they're going really young, really expensive, insanely good talents that are just going to take a while. They don't have enough experience in that squad. Um they don't have enough of a mix of experience culture in that squad to like integrate the young players. Like I think the Jurgen Klopp, the reason why he was able to rebuild his uh, his midfield so well is because he still has the culture. He still has his system. He still has his playing style. The back end of the team is the same pretty much, and the front end of the team is the same pretty much. Obviously, you know, pick and pop a couple of guys here or there. But <clears throat> they're able to integrate these guys, and McAllister's a very smart guy. Sabas is a very smart guy. Um, and they're able to just integrate these guys, and you know, you still have Curtis Jones in there. You still have so they're able to bring them into the fold. Whereas what Chelsea are doing is just throwing fucking money, getting young prospects. A lot of the times, playing you know, doubling up positions or doing whatever the case might be, having to ship other players off. They're just they're in the news a lot. Like just it, it's a mess. It's a mess of a club, and. It's the people at the top, really, that are just kind of causing it. You know, when Tuchel, Tuchel doesn't work out, Tuchel, however the fuck you say it, doesn't work out. Then you have Graham Potter doesn't work out. And now you're going to do something with Pochettino. I mean, at, at, cer- at a certain point, and I know it's not going to happen, but at a certain point, Todd Bowley has to look in the mirror and be like, what am I doing? What are we doing here? Or... They're going to have to survive the banter era. I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't think that they'll get relegated. But they're going to have to go through this rough patch and be okay with Pochettino creating that culture and making something. And just understand that this season is going to be pretty much a waste. And they're going to just have to go through the this banter era and and just hope that they got the right guy in Pochettino let him cook and go from there and the but the problem is and and I understand that fans are going to have this reaction the problem is I don't know that they're seeing the vision you know there there isn't like this excitement there isn't this like flashes of I can hang on to this moment. You know, there isn't like, okay, we are losing. But you know what? This guy looks good. Connor Gallagher looks amazing. Looks like he's going to be a world beater. Um, Raheem Sterling, you know, Raheem Sterling has had some flashes actually. But they don't have these guys that it's like, okay, I can hold on to this. And I'm trying to go to the team. Uh, Let me see. da 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 um, it was today. Like, let me, I'm trying to like even uh Colwell, it just doesn't look good. Moises Caicedo looks like a disaster. Nico Jackson doesn't look great. I mean, the only one maybe that kind of looks like a flash is Enzo Fernandez. Looks like he got subbed off at the 68th again. I didn't watch this game. I I, I honestly I didn't. Um, I do try to watch all the all the rest, um, and I'm gonna watch it right after. But again, it's it's just like they have nothing. Like there there's there's nothing that a fan can just. There's not a moment. There's not enough flashes of moments where it's like I see they're trying to play this way. I see they're trying to go this way. So that's that's gonna be the frustration. On the fan point, Pochettino, I don't. I mean, he's he's literally starting at zero. This the 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 price tag on the club says a billion dollars. That that's the price. That's what's been paid. That's that's the house that they bought is a billion dollars. But he when he walked onto the land, it was a fucking shed. It was a dilapidated dilapidated shed. And and it looks like shit. 
he's literally like not only is he like I'm gonna create a culture, he's having to destroy whatever the fuck's been going on to rebuild. And it's just not and it's not looking good. And it's just it's it's very frustrating. I mean, if you're a Chelsea fan, you, you must be like uh you must be thinking like what the fuck do we do? What do I hold on to? I'm getting fucking bantered. They're not playing well. They can't fucking buy a goal. What's happening? What do we do? Um and I think the ownership group I don't want to say stuck, but I think in their hiring process, clearly Pochettino said, "I'm this is what I'm going to do." And th- they're just going to have to stick through it. They're just going to have to stick through it and and just hope that Pochettino's the man. You know, he showed them something at Spurs. Um he built something and now he'll have money. Um so they they got to hope that they got the right guy. And I don't know. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Um, that that's like what what we think of the club. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that that's from from what I'm seeing. Like that's that's what I'm gathering from the club. But as far as what they're gonna do, you know that I think that's anybody's guess. I think Todd Bowley is um, over involved, probably. To this point, could you say, um, or is mismanaging his backroom staff? Or his backroom staff are, are, you know, there's there's just so many reports, and I and I think this always happens that um, when shit's going bad, nobody wants to be blamed, you know. So there's gonna be these little leaks, you know. You see it in Manchester United. There's like these little leaks that's like, you know, hey man, I heard it was the other guy over there. Nobody's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I fucked that up. It's just going to be human instinct to be like, you know, I'm doing all I can, but X person, you know, fucking Tina in accounting is not fucking putting in work, you know. Um, so you're getting all these leaks of like too many people, too many cooks in the kitchen, you know, they're just they're very, very not unified. And I think that that, you know, again, that structure comes from the top. Um, obviously, Todd Bully knows how to how to run a hedge hedge fund, how to manage a hedge fund, but, you know, football club is, is much different. And for all that we don't like about City, about, you know, potentially where they get their money, how much money they have, how they spend their money, you know, whatever, X, Y, Z, the investigations that are on them, they chose a man, um, and then they got their man, and they're just, he's, building that club culture um again psg is another example of it going terribly wrong and i think that they're trying to turn it around that's going to take a while for them as well um and i think newcastle are probably trying to build more in the city way where it's like you know let's just slow burn it let's just get a couple of key guys where we can flex a bit um but just stick to one plan one vision and go from there um and Chelsea Chelsea looked at PSG and said, "Yeah, uh, that's that's what I want." So, I mean, it's it's brutal, and it's gonna. I don't know when it fixes. It it it, it looks like it's gonna be tough, but I think that they just have to hope that Pochettino's the man, and that they made the right choice, and stick with it. You know, I think it'd be I think it'd be a mistake, but. We'll see. We'll see what Todd Bowley does. Todd Bowley's, you know, like fucking Jerry Jones. God, who knows? Who knows? 